back to the 3D Sapiens Roadshow. This is going to be the second part of the introductory episode here on the spirituality program on the YouTube channel. Um, on the first part, part A, I went through all the books. I was talking about all the books that kind of went into my spirituality, how I picture things, um, as well as the altered states of awareness from the rush, what people know as a rush, also known as a bliss event or oceanic bliss, something like that in psychology. Um, something else I wanted to talk about on the spirituality thing real quick here before I play the song that I was talking about. This is going to be from Pink Floyd on The Turning Away. Before I get into that though, um, real quick I just wanted to mention that Another song that this reminds me of, what I was talking about with the spirituality, is that you have to be eclectic, okay? You have to pick the best from each, essentially. Um, basically, there's a, a nugget of truth, I think, in every religion, before it got turned into a big business or something. So, you have to be eclectic, you know? It's like the uh, Eddie Grant song, You wanna rock, don't you, eclectic avenue, that will take you higher. Anyway, so, be eclectic, that'll take you higher. Um, all right, I'll be talking a little bit more about exactly how to picture what I picture when I talk about that there is something, because I don't believe in an anthropomorphic god, some guy with a big beard um, sitting up in some throne someplace, I don't believe in that, um, and I don't believe a lot of the people that come along I think they know the answers, because I think that's what life here on earth is all about, is trying to figure stuff out and not just have the answers given to you. Um, if they were, it'd be like giving the answers to a test to somebody. So our whole point in life, one of the big things in life, is to is to learn as much as we can about everything. Um, and that relates to different religions as well. You know, um, study them all, see what makes sense, put it all together. Um, but uh, I don't think it's about being flashy. I don't think it's about uh, saying a bunch of stuff. I don't think it's about putting on a big show. I think it's a very personal thing. So you're never going to see me like, Can I have an amen? Can I have a woman? Can I have a multi-million dollar salary and a lyric at my disposal? No, you're not. No, it should be an individual, quiet thing. This is why I like, I like solitude. I like nature. I believe what Muir said, that the forest, nature, whatever, is... God's Cathedral. It's the best cathedral. And that's where I feel the best. But, um, at any rate, so, the feeling that I have, it can, this force that I talk about in the universe, it can be tested. It's called muscle testing. Um, it's worked every time I've done it with people that don't know what I'm talking about. And So, muscle testing um, can actually show that this force does exist and it does affect things. So, the sooner you... Um, admit that and go with it, the sooner your, your life will get in order. Um, a big part of it, though, of the soul of my spirituality is the feeling of connectedness, that we're all a part, like in the movie Avatar, which I'll be talking about that more on the next part. But um, this song by Pink Floyd, this is a song that I can actually play, that I have played in churches, without changing anything. A lot of songs, I will take the lyrics and change them for, um, for church. I've done that with Brian Adams, Police, and a few other songs. Uh, John Denver, but uh, this is one of the few songs that I can play without changing anything. So here goes. I'm gonna give a little uh, Latin intro because keep in mind I uh, learned to play guitar when I was living in South America. So I like the. Uh, kind of minor key Latin sound.
which we won't understand. Don't accept that what's happening is just a case of all the suffering. Oh, you'll find that you're joining in the turning away. It's a sin that somehow light is changing to shadow. tuning in and on part C which will be outside someplace I'll be talking about some metaphors and some movies that might help you make a little bit more sense of what I'm talking about but anyway thanks for tuning in see you later